Hi Mark, good to see you again. Morning Daryl. Uh, how you doing, alright? I'm good. Good, yeah, so we're on the banks of the Trent and uh, not too long before the season starts. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. And where are you off to to start the season? There. <laughs> right there. Fantastic, yeah. No, I mean that looks really good, doesn't it? This is Gunthorpe, isn't it? That's right, yeah, it's Gunthorpe and uh, I'm hoping to be down here first weekend maybe, or second weekend of the season. Let the crowds come first and then... Uh, Have you fished here before then? I bit? fished here a long time ago when I was a kid, yeah. Some, some good fish to be out here. Obviously, looks incredible from here. Yeah, really, you know. really nice stretch, really nice stretch. So, anyway, yeah, glad you could meet up and uh, I've got a few baits that I want to show you. I, mean, I wonder what you want, uh, you know, wonder what you were going to show me, but yeah, I thought yeah. maybe we just going to rearrange our early season trip <laughs> to the river. So, no, no, got a few baits and uh, you have probably seen some of them last year, so uh, we uh, had a play around with them last year on the trend yes. when we got together. So Yeah, we caught a few fish. Yeah. So you've, they've gone on from there then? Yeah, they're in production now, they're in the, in the shops and uh, yeah, um, I think you'll be quite excited to see them. Can't wait, let's have a look then. Yeah, let's have a look. Right, so here we are then, Daryl. This is the new uh, Big Fish River range that you were telling me about a moment ago. Uh, Perhaps you can tell me more about it then. Yeah, so as you said, it's the Big Fish River Range and it's designed uh, especially for the guys that are sort of cobbling on the rivers. Um, but also there's something there for, for the likes of me and you as well, float fishing. I used some of this last year and uh, some of the ground baits also as well. So in the range we've got two ground baits, two pastes, two really quite nice hook baits and some uh, some liquid soaks. Carbolin. Carbolin, <laughs> yeah. That's, you, 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 you're well familiar with that too, I'm sure. I'm liking carbon in a lot, yeah. yeah. So let's start with these uh, ground baits then. So you've got cheese and garlic, which you know I can smell from here. It's like, yeah. you know, yeah, very so pungent. Cheese and garlic, I'm gonna, pour, I'm gonna pour some on your hands so you uh, get a good look at it. Um, a really nice, heavy, uh, coarse mixed ground bait. Uh, as you can see, pellets, lots, lots of pellets in there, yeah. So there's some four mils, some six mil pellets. So, um, you know, a lot of the anglers that are fishing the feeders, um, it's got everything there for the day's fishing, you know. You, of course, you can add more pellets to it, but there's a lot of good feed content in there. Would you say this is probably designed more, you know, cheese is sort of synonymous with chub, really. Which is more, you know, would you think of a, 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 a chub-based ground bait than barbel or? Um, I, well, I was using it, I was using it last year, and uh, I say I caught plenty of barbel as well, but um, obviously chub do like a lot of cheeses, you know, but I think I mean, so the barbel. Coloured water, I mean, you, yeah, they'd definitely home in on that, wouldn't they? I mean, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for that. I mean, it absolutely yeah. stinks, yeah. and I will not be eating anything <laughs> like chips for the rest of the day. No, no. Really strong smelling, so good flavour, lots of coarse particles, as I said, and, uh, you know, coloured water, cold water, it's going to really pull fish into it, the swim. Easy to mix? Very easy to mix, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll mix them up in a bit and have a look at it, but uh, very easy to mix. You can't get it wrong, and we'll say there's just a nice heavy mix to get down to the bottom quite This quickly. is a heavier mix than this shrimp and krill then, you say? I would say slightly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a look so, at the shrimp and krill. So the shrimp and krill. We're going to lose this. Yeah, it just leaves that some it, yeah. it smells. Yeah, yeah. So, right. shrimp and krill, this is based uh, around one of our all-time classics, um, the spicy shrimp and prawn uh, boilies. Pellets again, I see. Pellets again, yeah, good, good helping of pellets. Again, a coarse mix and, you know, lots yeah. of food particles. Um, I, yeah. really, I really like that with a fish meal bait that'd be yeah. you know yeah. hemp seed etc in there crushed hemp and yeah uh, it's like everything for the you know for the day angler and uh, the overnight get the guy who's chucking feeders out yeah I like that slightly darker colour I mean yeah. the river's clear at the moment yeah. I'd probably yeah. you know I'd, I'd probably opt for that on the day like this well I was actually using uh, the two combined last year and, really uh, yeah putting them mixed together so you can lighten it and darken it however you like basically so pretty versatile yeah, they, they feel they feel they feel really good. You can so it's interesting with ground baits because you can see with the with the inclusion of pellets and uh, and the overall smell, they're actually are designed by people that go fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For people that go fishing, yeah, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, you def know? definitely. Yeah, a lot of the guys in in the factory and and the officers, as you know, are fishing all the time. And you know, this this range actually I've been pushing for for about three years to get a, a proper river range. Um, well, you're on the banks uh, of the Trent, yeah. basically, aren't and you? Cheese and, and cheese and garlic, especially, you know. Uh, a friend of mine is always using this, a certain competitor's uh, cheese and garlic, which I won't mention. So, yeah, we've got our own now, and I think it's pretty pretty good. So, so the cheese and garlic and the shrimp and krill, basically that stays throughout the range, doesn't Correct. it? Yep, that's right. So yeah, the two flavours throughout the range. Um, and next is the uh, paste. So okay. uh, I'm going to get a bit more stuff on your hands now. Um, but yeah, this stuff, fantastic. So, so are these pastes designed to go around like leads and... Boilies yeah, and so, pellets and things yeah, like that. As you can see, I'll get my finger stuck in there. Really, sort of quite a fibrous, malleable sort of paste. It, Perfect for moulding around. Oh my god. Yeah. 
A lot of people, you know, a lot of people in with baits, you know, they, they actually taste this. Taste you know, would you? <laughs> I've already tasted it, but you feel free if you want to. No, no, it's all right. No. <laughs> I thought we'd go have it like it's a shared yeah, moment yeah, yeah. thing, but that's quite. Uh, and I tell you yeah. what, that's very. Uh, that's tough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I was well, I was playing around with these quite a lot last year and uh, use these quite a lot for trotting on the float because they're so perfect for moulding around the hook. Yeah. Perfect for moulding around the sort so of boilie. You, you can have them as they are. Yeah, have them as they are. Just as a bait. Yeah, and uh, the the beauty of them is, I mean, a lot of paste can get quite sticky and quite messy. I think these are absolutely perfect now. And, so uh, not too, you know, you're not I've, leaving it behind on your fingers. No, sometimes with paste, you put them in water and then what they, what they feel on the bank isn't what happens in the water. Yeah, they yeah. eat. They'll either they go too hard basically. Yeah, and I'd, me, I'd rather they go the other way yeah, and yeah, start yeah. to melt start off. Start to melt off, yeah. I, th I think these are just perfect. But again, we'll, we'll we'll put them in the water in a bit. And we'll have a look at them, and uh, yeah, we'll, you'll be able to see but, exactly, but they feel exactly what they do. I mean, flavour-wise, I mean on, they yeah. really yeah, is yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite exceptional. And the shrimp again, as you can see, very nice. Oh, nice. You dip in there as well. Is that, is that tiny bits of pellet in there? Obviously? Yeah, a little bit of pellet and crushed hemp and stuff like that. So. Slight, uh, slightly more strangely, it feels almost slightly more oily than the than the cheese, but you wouldn't really expect that, would you? Um, or is it just me? No, no, it's definitely. Uh, I think it is just a little bit more oily that one, yeah. So um, that that will be probably to do with a uh, fish meal, etc. Yeah. Um, in there, but yeah, I mean that that was my favourite one on the river last year, but you know this is fantastic for you know. I'll be interested uh, to see what we'll, we'll have, you know we'll have a look and yeah. then uh, we'll see what that does in the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. There you are. perfect. Okay, so um, also in the range is uh, these uh, range of hook baits. So um, I'm going to make you stink like uh, whatever. So again, the two flavours consistent throughout the range. Uh, we call it these river busters, and uh, they're quite so, a unique shape dumbbell. Um, that is a good. That is a that is a, an interesting shape. But they feel. Uh, is there some sort of glug in there? I mean, they're quite. That's yeah, a, that's a wet bait, isn't they're, it? Um, the, so it's uh, obviously a boilie base mix for the shrimp and prawn. It's very yeah. similar to the uh, spicy shrimp and krill, uh, but they are hardened, so uh, not not too hard as you can see. And what shape would you say that is? It's quite an interesting shape, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's um, not quite a dumbbell. It's not quite a round. Um, so hence why we called them busters. But uh, they are designed so they don't specifically just roll away on the river bed, etc. Really? Like that. So and what uh, about um, you know for for hair rigging? Were they, do they split or? No, no, they're needle friendly. So so, um, so you don't need to drill them. Then, don't need to drill them. At all. So they, as I said, they are hardened bait, uh, but they're not to the point where they're so hard. So you can see, like I can still break that with my fingers. Yeah. Um, and as I said, you can literally put a needle uh, straight through that without it splitting or breaking. So uh, straight through on the needle, um, no need to drill it. And yeah, the, they're, they're firm enough to withstand, you know, chub packing away at them or yeah. roach sort of battling away at them, and they'll, they'll stay on for a good. So what size would you say that is then? Uh, that's a very good question actually, 11, I reckon they're about, I think they're probably rolled on 12s but they're probably more like 14s aren't they? Yeah, really interesting yeah. that, I've not seen a bait that sort of yeah. shape before. Yeah. I like the idea that, that obviously that whatever's in the pot with them, it, it keeps them looking really fresh. Keeps them looking it? really fresh, yeah. So you know, um, I mean they look, you know, they, they, yeah. they look like you want to yeah. use them don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you, know, you know when an angler picks that up they're going to smell that and think, oh yeah I'll, take, it, I'll yeah. take a pot of these and I'll keep them in the bag. I mean. They're obviously shelf life, so they'll last uh, you know a good couple of years um, in the bag. So they're always handy to keep one in the bag, definitely. So no, it's impressive that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, yeah, the last thing in the range is the uh, the river bait soaks. So um, again, the same two flavours. Yep. Um, shrimp and krill, cheese and garlic. Have a, I'll just have a whiff of this. Be careful not to spill it. Really, really, really strong smelling stuff. So um, <coughs> this is a PVA friendly liquid. Um, we haven't brought feed pellets out in the range at the moment, but these are perfect designed for sort of soaking and glugging your pellets and, you know, taking on that cheese and garlic. And, and not that. only that, right, what I'm saying with this is that take the label off, mother-in-law's Christmas present, <laughs> right? <laughs> Bath oil. <laughs> Brilliant, I mean that. Maybe, maybe that, that one's closer. <laughs> that is, I mean that, that is yeah. whiffy yeah. is the word, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Perfect size as well. I mean, a lot of soaks that you're using. I mean, I'm using some soaks that are a litre. It's just too much to carry down the river. Yeah. This this is ideal for a good two or three sessions. You know, you can use it liberally. Put it in the ground bait. Mix it with the ground bait. Add some extra flavour. Soak your feed pellets with it. So something I'm asked very often about liquids is people say, "Oh, how much should I use?" Yeah. Especially when you put it into ground bait. Personally, I've always found that if it's if it's water soluble, I'm sure yeah. these are. Yeah. If you if you put your water in in a bait bowl, add this to it. You know. 
and you get a more of an even yeah, spread of liquid. Definitely, but yeah. You, sh you just use the amount you need yeah. to, just to give that extra little lift to, to yeah, the ground I mean, bait or the bait. It's a 500 mil bottle, so you got half a litre. I mean, a good angler is going to be probably using four or five uses out of that, I would thought. So and maybe, maybe six. But you can sort of glug pellets in, in that yeah. to, that you're putting in the feeder and things like that. Yeah. As you said, water soluble, you can't go too you can't go too much of it. You're not gonna put anything off, you know, that flavor. No, you can't yeah, you can't, like no, 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 you can't overdo it. No, you can't overdo it. And I imagine this one probably got a slight, you know, maybe a cloudy effect. Oh yeah, a really good clouding effect and um, I say lots of sort of, you know, you know, vitamins and you, you know, I tell you what, I'd have to fancy that. Winter, yeah. Yeah, mashed top. bread in a bucket. Yeah with that perfect for the perfect for the chub yeah, perfect. incredible yeah, you know yeah. perfect and everybody would know you'd been there <laughs> yeah oh, oh, and, dear, and your wife yeah. would know you when you got home <laughs> so uh, so yeah that's that's the range so uh, oh. feel, feel free to uh, well, take them and give them a go as we're and, uh, as we're um, as we're by water i think what we ought to do is have a little look at yeah. some of this stuff in water yeah definitely because um, that's uh, it's, you know that's, yeah. that's really impressive and very informative yeah should we uh, should we go and have well, a little look it's a shame we were like, a couple of weeks earlier and we could have bought some gear down with us but there you go <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> No, what was the word? What are they? Car what did you call Carbolin. them? Carbolin. Yeah. Mm, we like carbolin. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Yep, okay. Let's go for it. Yep. Come on up. Right then, Daryl, so here we are at the water's edge. Uh, we've, got the, uh, we've got the cheese and garlic. And uh, as an expert, you're going to show me how you would mix it. Yeah, so this is, this is the sort of mix I was using last year. So take the ground bait, off the, uh, pour a bit into the, uh, into the bowl. Yep. And then, uh, as I said, I'd always add the liquid into my water first, so a bit of river water already in the bucket. Yeah. Um, chuck a little bit in there. Look at that. It's gone nice and gloopy. Yeah, you can see that that's you, soluble then. You can't add too much, but, um, you know, I prefer to chuck it in. I like to give them something to, yeah. to find and home in on and feed. And then, uh, look at that. that was Fancy a drink of that? No, not at all. <laughs> so, so, um, so you're going to mix this as if, what, as if you're going to use it in a feeder or to ball in? Um, I would tend to, yeah, I mean, you'll find it's quite a sticky mix anyway, quite a heavy mix, so um, you can mix it, and to be honest, it'll be perfect for fishing in the feed as well. I'll mix it lighter to start with, yeah, the feeder, okay. and then we can mix it a little bit heavy, but you'll see how easy it is to all mix. Right. I mean, I've not had any problems at all with it, so we get some nice, uh, nice smells onto my hands now. You can see that's yeah. That, that, Look how easy that yeah, stuff that, was going together. Yeah, there's not it's not lumpy yeah. or you know. You think with the pellets in there. I mean that's that's actually almost first time, almost good enough straight away for the feed of that. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean that's incredibly that's, soft. That's isn't bang it? on. Yeah, really, really soft yeah. and fluffy. Um, so you know, it's as easy as that. Yeah. Um, I put a little bit more in to make it a little bit stodgier, but um, you know, I'd have been happy using that for feeder or balling in. To be honest, if you've got to chuck it a long, long way, then. Obviously, there's a nice. I mean, so, what's that taking? A minute? Yeah, perfect that, ground bait. It's that, really perfect. And uh, you see a few fish on that in a, in a while. I'm Get sure. back, man, up here. Yeah. Straight, to, straight to the bottom, look. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I can't believe how quick that yeah. was. Yeah. Brilliant. So, really good. Okay. Yep. Cheers. Check out that. No. <laughs> <laughs> So we've had a uh, we've had a walk around and uh, you've shown me the new baits, which are you know really impressive. And uh, I've seen this bit of gun drop, I like that. Yeah. So uh, well, thanks for me morning. Yeah. No. And uh, you know I'll see you again what probably ten days time. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, let's make it a date. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Mark. I should get here about four. Yeah. Here, so if you get here about nine, Five. you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you later, mate. Bye. 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 Bye.